Hi everyone! Today on Hello Susan, we're going to create a snippet roll to add into the Shabby Lace Journal. We'll be using my Hello Susan Lace Snippet Roll Kit. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Comes with everything you need, just perfectly sized. It's three sheets. It's got lace and crochet and flowers, and then it's got some features too. Okay, now snippet rolls can be used in many ways along the edge of a page as a border, a belly band, torn up into pieces to make pockets, or a tuck spot. You can decorate an envelope, or even as a cluster on a page. The possibilities are just endless. Super fun to make and so easy. I'll put a link below to the kit if you want to make one too. Of course, you can use any papers you have on hand to create a pretty snippet roll for your journal. I've got everything cut out and we're just going to bring in some strips of offcuts from the kit. And this is cardstock and I did print everything on cardstock except for, well, let's see. No, I did. Everything is on cardstock. So all we're going to do is just arrange some things around. Now, I did some neutrals with script. I've got four different kinds here. So everything doesn't look the same as we go along. Make sure I'm right in the center. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with this one. So I want to ink the edges. That's something that I should have done already, but I didn't. So let me go ahead and do it real quick. Doesn't take that long. Okay, open my glue. Of course I'm using Fabri-Tac. And we're just going to just put the first piece on. And this is going to hang off the edges. So this is just going to be our piece that we anchor everything to. Okay, so since we've got that, let's go ahead and add something that would be pretty. Let's see what we got here. Here, let's do this crochet piece. And just ink that up real quick. And we'll put it on kind of overlapping just a little bit so now I think we need a flower let's decide what size of flower maybe this big one let's get it going just the right way that looks good let me ink that up a little bit so how is everyone today hope everybody's doing good this journal that I'm working on is turning out so pretty. I put tons and tons of lace on it. Of course, it, that is the name of it, so I figured it needed it. Okay, now see how easy this is? Let's go ahead and take another background piece. And when you're kind of putting it together, you don't really have to think about it too much. I just try to do a little background and then just so that it can just continuously go. And then when you're ready to use it, you're just gonna tear it where you want it. So I do try to do some focal points so that if I wanted to tear it right there, I could. Okay, let's see what else we wanna do. Let's put this woman on. She's a Victorian woman, very neutral. And I kind of like mine going every which way. Nothing needs to be straight for me. Do you, though. You do what, what makes you happy and what pleases your eye. Okay, how about this little frame? I tried to give you lots and lots of choices. I mean, I think that if we sat down, 10 of us, to use the same kit, not one of ours would look exactly the same because there's just so much to choose from and so many different ways you can put it together. Okay, that looks cute there. 
Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's do a bird. How big of a bird do we need? Well, that's too big, I think. I think that one's too big, too. Let's try this one. I did print these out uh, in different sizes for myself, and you can do the same thing. Just print one or two or three or four to a page, and that gives you all the different sizes. here I think on that crochet piece that'll look cute and it's not so close to that bird okay I think we need another background piece I think some of these have lace on it let me find one with lace not that it probably will end up showing in the in the product I mean after we get so much going anyway but let's just start there Oop, let me ink it real quick See how fun this is? And it goes so fast. Just the main thing is, is, you know, think about what you want to get together as your supplies. But then once you start making it, just try not to think too much about it because it'll weigh you down. Oh, that's cute on there, isn't it? Let me ink that up real quick. Okay. Whoops. Put it all by hand instead of the piece of paper. Kind of go like that. Isn't this cute? I love it. Here's a bow. Let me ink that up real quick. Okay, where would we like that bow? How about right there? And I'm not putting glue on every little bitty piece of it because you may want to tuck something in. And if you glue it up too much, then uh, let's do a butterfly. Then you can't get something up underneath it. Let's see what size of butterfly. Oh, that looks pretty. Let's go ahead and ink that. Let's put that right there. Okay, so now let's go down here. Let's do another background piece. Oops, I gotta ink it. I just love this distress ink. I know I say that every time, but I just do. It just really makes it just the right color for me. I'm gonna have to lift that one up just a little bit to get that back underneath there. There we go. And let's see. We've got so much to choose from. Here's a postage stamp. Let's that's pretty. Let's put that there. Whoops, I didn't ink it. Okay, let's add a Let's add something else. Let's see what do we got that would look kind of different. We can put another flower over here. Ooh, look at that. That just frames that so so pretty. Make sure I put it on that stem so I can get it adhered down. Oh, I do like that. That's pretty. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and see what else we can add to this. Let's 
put that right there. There we go. Okay, well, I think you've got the idea. Isn't that wonderful? I just love it. And then when I get ready to use it, I can just break it up into pieces and use it. Well, have a great day, and thank you so much for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.